Hi, my name is Nefer and I help vacation rental companies get more direct bookings. In this video, I'm going to show you a guest feedback process to help you measure your guest expectations. We covered this in an earlier video called Guest Expectations. Your vacation rental marketing starts here and I'll include a link somewhere in this video. How about here? Bloop. Okay, so why do we want to ask for feedback? Essentially, we want to measure how closely we got to our initial goal, which was to over deliver on your guest experience. There's a lot of different ways on how to do this. So I'm going to show you just a bare minimum example of what this process could look like for you. So let's have a look at what that looks like. But before we jump in, let's review a couple things. There's many, many different ways to ask for the feedback. The one thing that you definitely want to consider is how you ask. And a good rule of thumb is to ask like you would in a normal conversation. If you can imagine the vacation rental owner or someone in a management position asking you how your stay was in a very personable way, you would be more open to respond to that with your honest feedback. Okay, so let's have a look at the first question. We're being as direct as possible to remove any sort of ambiguity or confusion. We're asking your guest, how was your stay? And we're giving them five different options. Much better than I expected, a bit better than I expected, about the same as I expected, a bit worse than I expected, and much worse than I expected. So as you can see, this ties in directly to that first goal of setting guest expectations and over delivering on them. So the next question is asking your guests how you can improve for their next visit. What can be changed? Even if they had a stellar experience, they can still offer some ideas on how your business could improve. Additionally, you can also add an extra question here saying, hey, here's a, an area where you can send us a private note in case your guest wants to point something out without making it public. Again, depending on your needs, you can add lots of different types of question regarding the cleanliness of the property, the rooms, what the check-in, check-out process was like, whatever sort of touch points in the customer journey that you want to measure, you can go ahead and append to this process. So moving on to number three, what do you do after the guest gives you their feedback? We want to direct them to the next appropriate action. So for instance, if we know that we delivered on the guest expectation about the same, a bit better or much better than expected, then we want to take that opportunity to invite these guests to review your, your vacation rental business on some sort of platform like Google Maps, Facebook, or another platform. On the contrary, if the guests gave you feedback that their experience was a bit worse or much worse, then that's your time to try to make good on that experience. So you can alert the team right away after that feedback was submitted to make good on that or to try to diffuse the situation. Also with this feedback process, you can identify the guests that were delighted, the ones that were not, and then update their CRM record. So for instance, you might might have someone that had an awesome experience and they were a great guest to deal with. That's the kind of guest that you want to invite back, right? So what you can do is update their CRM record in your system and then you can treat these people a little bit differently or treat with special care. Then going one step beyond that, you can market to these people a bit differently too. Perhaps it's a special promo, perhaps a deal for your VIPs. You can do that by segmenting your marketing audience. And as a bonus, platforms like Facebook allows you to find lookalike audiences based off of the contacts that you upload to their system. So it's a great way to say, hey, Facebook, find me more of these customers that had a great time at my property and were easy to deal with or were a pleasure to do business with. Now I'd like to turn it over to you. What's your guest feedback process look like? Are there some questions that I was missing that you apply to your own questions or your own surveys or questionnaires? I'd love to get your thoughts in the comments.